Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Darkwood episode 11 for our series here. Let's get started, because the last time we left off, we had died the night before, and I'm not too happy about it. I think our entire uh, barricaded in situation was garbage, so I went ahead and redid it. In fact, I uh, went ahead and fixed it all up off camera, so that way I wouldn't... You know, it took me a good 10-15 minutes, and that would have been just 10-15 minutes of me rebuilding stuff up and moving stuff around. It would have been pretty boring. So let me show you what I did. I did rebuild the wardrobe. However, I brought it inside, so that way I can put it out here in front of the door. I can barricade that door up at night and put it in front of the door instead of it being behind it. So that was one thing I did. I also went ahead and moved all this furniture back where it needed to go. I've set some bear traps up around the perimeter and I also boarded up most of the windows inside the house as well as built and boarded up both of these doors. Feeling a lot safer. Now we had plenty of wood, plenty of nails. There was no reason not to do it. I don't want to have an incident where we die again because you miss a lot of stuff at nighttime that's pretty important. So went ahead and boarded all this up. I think it's going to help. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm not going to die, but it should hopefully make things a little bit easier. There's bear traps around all of these doors. Bear traps is around here in the various windows. I did leave that window open. The only reason I did is because just like you guys saw with me having to try to tr get away and escape once they broke through the door, if I have to do that again, I want to have one open window to be able to get out of because everything else is barricaded. On top of that, it's easy access to the well, and if I had to get to the generator, I could do it too. Since it's kind of a branch off of the house and it comes off in almost a peninsula-like fas fas uh, fashion, it makes it so that even if enemies look down in here, if I'm hiding over somewhere in this area, they can't see me as opposed to this window or this window or even this window. So... I think I've done a pretty good job. Now, I've already uh, hung out with uh, the trader here a little bit. And uh, I did trade for some nails. But other than that, I haven't done anything else with him. But I did want to get a little bit of nails. Because um, I just needed a few more to finish my project. Also, I would actually like both pieces of the wire. We've only got two. So I'll just go ahead and grab them up. Because we've only got two and we really should have another one. Because we're probably going to find some more locked chests. So why don't I build a lock pick real quick and as you can see I've also been able because of all that building I've been able to clear out most of my inventory space and there's even a little bit of room inside of the workbench area so not bad at all what's nice now is we don't have to waste any time at the house we can keep pushing to the west and making our way towards uh, Beatrix house which is what we're gonna do today there you go you can see all the bear traps I got hopefully I don't walk on one ultimately I probably would have died anyways so I'm not going to say that it was the bear trap that killed me because, I mean, the bear trap did kill me, but I, I probably would have also have died um, regardless of whether the bear trap was there or not. I was in a pretty rough spot. I had two of them chasing me, and from what I could tell from all the bear traps set off the morning after the event, uh, there might have been three or even four more there, or like there might have been four total. So interesting enough, something to think, something to think about. Now, let's see, I guess we'll just, we're heading already past that, so we've got a little ways to go. But I think we're going to head straight there. We'll stop and loot a few areas if we pass by them, but I'm not going to worry about the lumber yard yet. We're all good on wood. We'll maybe hit that the next day. There's that guy there, which I really don't want to deal with. But I mainly want to head there because I think it's uh, going to be important towards advancing the story. For whatever's there. It was marked on my map, so it's clearly pretty important. And, um... I don't want to spend a whole nother episode exploring, because I've already spent two of the... Uh, two episodes doing that. I think actually three. Ooh. That looks like a really good camp with a lot of gear, but it also looks like it's got... Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, we want nothing to do with that moose. Got to watch him kill that savage though, which is pretty cool. Oh, a truck. Broken truck, all right. Let's have a look. We can search it. Oh, we got a tire. Some more wire, good. Some gasoline, some scrap metal. Can we loot the back of the truck or anything? What? What the hell is that? Okay. 
We're just gonna let that be a little <laughs> left alone. Was that that? What the hell? What the hell was that? I don't know, but it was horrifying sounding. I'm not really sure what that was. We're just not going to worry about it. Keep pushing like we do best. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're at the house. Nice, you got some what appears to be barricades. Sp the hell is that? Nice try, bunny. Oh, you so thought you could make it. Okay, how do we get in? Okay, clearly not this way. Okay, it looks like a whole lootable house area. We've got a generator. Maybe we can go turn it on. With a lockpick. Alright, lockpick it is. We've got a crate here that doesn't require a lockpick, so that's pretty good. Oh, fabric, yes. Okay, that came on, but other than that, I didn't see any other lights. Alright, let's head inside. This place looks like a scrap metal warehouse. The walls are covered with fungus and... Spider webs, it's very scary, uh, very stuffy in here. Okay. I heard something. Oh, thunderstorm. Okay, not really much in here. Unfortunately. I smell rosin. Oh, there's a light. Okay. Always trying to check under furniture for stuff. Oh, there's a crate right there. Wow, that one's not locked, too. We're getting lucky. Oh, tape. That battery. What the heck? Postcard with a portrait of a man. Someone has penned a caption on it. 1961, the sky is dark and the earth blue. Okay. All right, what's in this door? It's locked. Oh. Oh. I'm not coming out until the beast lurking in my garage is gone. Okay. Beast lurking in the garage. Ooh. All right, let's go handle whatever's in the garage. Pile of junk sloppily welded together. We got a tractor. This was once a tractor, now it's a hollow rusty body. All of its useful mechanic parts have been scavenged. There is gas though. Man, there's so much stuff here, junk. Another crate. Oh, my God. There's a third crate. I don't even have room for all of this. I'm just going to have to come back. I imagine we'll be back here anyways. This is probably somebody we've got to talk to. Oh, that's uh, that stuff there. That was it for my torch. Don't really feel like crafting another one. There was matches in there. Let's go grab them. I actually will use this up. Er, sorry. Here's what we'll do. There. Not really the best way to do it. So there's something in there. I'm guessing. We just don't know what. Really? 
There we go. Um, should I switch to the nail board? It's a better weapon. Uh, we'll use the staff up. I'm confident the staff's a good enough weapon. Alright, so he's had a monster in here. Let's see what we've got. We're hoping for... Can I get close enough? Oh, is it a dog? Is that what I'm hearing? Can't be a dog. There we go. Alright. Whatever comes through that door. I don't see anything. Oh, it's a dog. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's a mean sounding dog. Oh, there he goes. Oh, mushrooms. No room. Come on, dog. Come get me. Oh. Smart dog. Oh, boy. This thing's hard to use. There we go. Oh, we got some meat, which we don't really have room for. Got mushrooms, which we need. All right, we're going to be back here, I'm sure. Let's drop that one and grab that one, right? Uh, other than that, there's a lot of... Ooh, we got some more wire, I see. Fabric, so we can upgrade our hot bar, probably, would be good. Okay, I do want the stuff that I can... Uh, the meat, we don't really... We haven't been using much, right? So, probably not very useful. Oh, there's another crate. What the hell? Um, oh, oh my god, a toolbox. you got to be kidding me. What are the freaking chances? Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, I don't know, but let's grab the... Blueprint. What are we looking at here? It's a rocket ship. Some scary stuff. And what appears to be parts? Okay. Not really sure. I'll have to take a look at that later so I can really think about it. Alright, we gotta come back for this stuff. There's nothing I can do. I do want the toolbox to upgrade my workbench though before I leave. So if I gotta drop some stuff. But let's go see if this guy's willing to talk to us now. Hey buddy, I killed the wolf. Nice. There you are. Oh, you got a workbench in here. Wow, you're a character. Oops, I didn't hear you come in. The boy's eyes are wandering around the room. Boy? You're an old looking boy. I found this wiggly metal thing yesterday. It was laying there in the grass. I don't like grass. It's so slippery and it tickles your feet. Rather than grass, I would prefer these metal wigglies. Yes. The metal antennas on his wiry hat suddenly start vibrating. Do you do you have any metal wigglies? Um, I might. I have a postcard with a portrait of a man. Oh, I have one too. It's such a beautiful photograph. I bet you do have one. Um, I've got a battery. Oh, we got reputation. A hybrid rocket engine. Wow, this will fit perfectly in my rocket. Have you seen it? Have you seen my rocket? It's almost as pretty as uh, uh, Gagarin's. Well, almost. I just need to find some parts and it will be completely ready. Would you bring them to me? The other parts, I would uh, then fly to space and to the moon and to Mars and Jupiter and to the sun. I mean, <laughs> I would land at night. Nice. The boy suddenly looks into my eyes. Look for old tractors. You will find the missing pieces for my rocket in them. Oh, so like a tire. Oh man, space rocket chassis. Only two more to go. Two more. I think I've got a bunch of those tractor parts back at the base there. I had one just like this. It melted into a perfect little ball shaped like the moon. I melt everything plastic in the moons. 
Petrix suddenly becomes excited. And have you seen my vehicle? It's ready. Well, almost ready. Just a couple of parts missing. I'll need to find them and I will have... Okay. Have to repair the casing, the one from the spring that fell off recently. When I was entering the cockpit, I hit my head and it, well, fell off. I thought I was flying, but it was just that the lights went off. What about the blueprint? These are the blueprints for my space rocket. Almost ready. I broke down a whole tractor to build it, but I'm missing several parts, several very important parts. For example, a shiny little mirror and this rectangular box with wires and... The boy suddenly becomes lost in thought. If only I had more tractors, I would definitely go to space. Photo of a road. You won't be able to make it home uh, via this road. You should build a rocket. Okay, fair enough. Gossip. I like to watch the stars at night. Sometimes you can see these bright blinking spots. Those are spaceships and rockets, obviously. Yeah, of course. Uh, the sky is awfully boring during the day. No stars, no ships, no rockets, nothing. Only these white smoke trails. I saw one yesterday. Over there, far above the treetops, Dad used to say they were planes, but such long planes, it would it would be crazy to fly them. I haven't slept a wink today. The whole night, I thought about that large metal cover from the tractor. It's such a beautiful cover. Ideal cover, no doubt about that. I mean, almost because I would need to bend it a bit with a screwdriver, and it will shield me from the space dust, that is. Beatrix suddenly becomes sad. Space dust. Space dust is everywhere. Okay, so we could trade with him. We've already got 250 reputation. Uh, what's he got to trade? A toolbox, but we've already got one. Ooh, map of the old woods. That's the next location we gotta be at. That, my friends, is a very valuable map. I do want both of those. I'm just gonna grab them. Um, okay, why don't we go grab the other stuff and we can bring it back to him. We can empty our inventory. And we can come back here and grab the rest of the stuff that we couldn't loot, right? We said a military flashlight, but we've got a regular, which is fine. But he's got gun parts, a chain, a cable, some other stuff. I don't... The map of the old woods is definitely one of the gold things here. Okay, so we're, we've got stuff that we need to give him, and we've got them back at our home so we're gonna have to grab those and bring them back i don't think we're gonna make it today though it's by the time we get there it's gonna be ready for nighttime and that doesn't mean we can't grab a few things that we need i've got space for two spot uh two items i think the definite most valuable is going to be the toolbox and we'll grab these mushrooms because i think we're pretty close to leveling up if we grab these what is that out there something moving Good. Do we have space for one more? No, we got the two. Okay, there's his rocket ship, I'm assuming, the poor fella. Yeah, that's just more of that crap. Ooh. Oh, me. Ah, uh, we don't really need it, though. That seems to be, other than maybe the back of the house, that seems to be pretty much everything. Did I leave anything inside here? No. All right, let's head back. The, uh, nighttime is coming. You'd be surprised. Like, it looks like we've got plenty of time, but we're pretty far away, so we've got a decent run back. Plus, we've got to do things like dodge um, scavengers, dodge moose, and the such, so. Uh, and whatever the hell that thing is up there. Oh, my God, it woke up. Oh, man, it's a good thing we didn't freaking... Wow, it's a good thing we didn't uh, hang out in the area. I can't believe that that happened. That's what that noise was earlier, by the way. What the hell is that? Oh, the moose. That's the... Just let the moose and that thing fight. Oh. Yes. Oh, wait. They might kill it. If they kill it, that's kind of a big deal. Because moose drop really valuable things. Oh, my God. They did kill it. Okay, let's move. We'll come back for it. I just wanted to make sure they did so I could come back and I know where it is now. They dropped their antlers. Their antlers are worth a lot uh, for trading. So we'll, we're going to have to come back for that. That's awesome. That moose sounds horrifying. It Honestly, though, for those of you who've watched my Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series, that's about exactly what I would expect a moose in that game to sound like. Just this terrifying sound. Uh, night time's coming. Do I drink from the well? Maybe I'll save it for night time. I might be able to run to it and drink it real quick. I could have probably have done that last night. 
Well, I know I couldn't have done it last night, but the possibility was there if I wanted to, right? So, okay, we've got a few things to prepare ourselves for night. Why don't we upgrade our workbench since we can do that? Ooh, what are we going to get? Oh, light armor. A shovel was there already. A sickle, which I'm not sure. And a single shot shotgun. Light armor, though. We need rags and um, what appears to be those scales. And we need to get whatever that is. Okay. Let's cook up real quick. We got a ton of stuff to cook up. We might level up. Oh, no. We're not gonna. Nope. We won't level up. Not unless we find like another embryo or something. But that's all right. We're still in a good spot. We could... Oh, we just need to find some rope. If we find some rope, we can upgrade our inventory again. Let's make another lockpick. You can never have too many lockpicks. That's really what the... Uh, what did I just make? Oh, I must have actually made a bandage with alcohol. Well, that's fine. Or maybe not, because that just took up a spot that I really could have used for other stuff. So I guess I'll make another bear trap. There. So I'm going to place this. Other than that, I got a bunch of stuff on me that I really can't get rid of right now. Until I clear some more space up. Yeah, I really can't get rid of any of this. I can get rid of those matches. We've got a lot of pills. We'll save them. We're going to probably need them. I could start using this bread up to get stamina boost, actually. So maybe we'll put the pills away to grab the bread. Glass bottle could be used to make another Molotov. I've already got six plus three more. I'm going to keep the Molotovs on me. Extra battery for our flashlight. I'm going to switch over to the board with nails. I think that's a better weapon for us in general. Okay, let's get ourselves all set up in here. We'll be good to go. One thing I want to do real quick is I do want to place a trap right outside here. We're going to barricade this. I think this will help us a lot at nighttime. Okay, we got to barricade that door real quick. So we'll grab some... Oh, do we have enough? Oh, we got just enough. There we go, guys. This is going to help a lot, I think. Obviously, if we have to get to the generator, we can't, so we'll just have to suck it up. <laughs> That's basically how it's going to go. Uh, we'll put the extra boards we've got in here, just the random bottle. Have a bandage ready to go. The nail board's ready to go. Cock, uh, Molotov's ready to go. Um, we'll equip the lantern if we need it, but we're not going to need it just yet. Put that in here. I have... Gasoline, but I'm confident we're not going to really use it much. We'll use the lantern up before we use up the flashlight. And then the bread's just for extra stamina if I need it. Uh, yeah, we're going to stick with the board with nails. We'll save the staff for fighting dogs or something a little bit. The, the board with nails works really well. I really should probably heal it up or fix it up a little bit. I don't know. I really don't want to waste the wood. Like, we've got a decent amount, but actually we don't. We've burned through a lot of it. I burned through a lot of it fixing this place up. Um, I could put a bear trap in front of this window, but we're not going to worry about it. And then I'm going to leave this entryway open, and then if I have to make that, that jump over to here, I can. Also, by the way, there's the parts we need, so we can bring those back and get more reputation, use it to get other stuff, maybe some more fabric or something. But here we go, guys. Headphones up if you've got them. And let's get ready for another night. Let's see if all of the upgrades I did, let's see if it makes a difference and helps us. Okay, we're not going to walk around. We're just going to be quiet. See if that helps us too. Biggest thing I'll be listening for is, again, those traps. I didn't hear them go off last night, but they must have because they, they, I had traps that were, that were uh, 
disarmed. I doubt the savages are smart enough to disarm them themselves. I should move into here, just like that, there. And then no more moving. Moving is what can draw them in. We're just going to listen. Anybody else hear that? It's not like somebody was walking around. Oh, crap. I didn't hear the traps go off. There's two of them again. All right, we're going to get ahead of it this time. Yep, we're going to get ahead of it. Door is down. Oh, they're coming through this door now. Okay, I'm confident that we can handle them. As soon as they come through, we're going to Molotov them. There's one more on the other side of that door, too. There's a lot of them. Boy, I don't know how we're going to handle this. Plus, I'm hearing some weird sounds. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There you go, buddy. Enjoy that. Yeah, I bet that didn't feel good, did it? I'm keeping the lantern on right. Come to me. What the hell? What is going on? Oh, freaking A. Oh, crap. Wow, he got a good hit. What is happening? Oh, crap. I hit the bug at least. Another, ah, oh, there was a good dodge. Oh, he came back. Ah, oh, boy. What is going on? This is not good. I'm not very confident right now about everything happening. Okay. I can't touch this, obviously. <sighs> Anybody see that red through that crack right there? There's a banshee out there. That is spreading, by the way. And there is a banshee outside. I think a trap just went off. And I'm not going towards that sound. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, unfortunately, we're going to have to use a Molotov to clear this up. Or it's only going to get worse. Oh, there goes my table. <sighs> yep, table and the bathtub's on its way out the door. Not really how I expected things to go. Yeah, there's something out there. Daytime is coming, though. Dead bug. Dead savage. Oh! Guys, that spread all through there. All right, we'll just deal with it in the morning, I guess, but we survived. Wow, we survived. That was a uh, that was a rough one. We did get the trader experience though, but that was uh, definitely a rough one. Is that stuff gone? Nope, it's still there. Which means we've got to waste precious resources to try to get rid of it.
Wow, that was rough. They didn't set off... They broke that doorway. Or, I didn't build a door there, actually. They didn't set off any of these traps out here. That one didn't set that trap off. They literally sat there and broke that door down. How do they not set that trap off? Oh, crap. I'm glad the trader... Oh, Jesus. This clearly isn't my day. The trader's having a fine time there. It's the bugs, by the way, that put that down. I've got to try to get to them, but I, I couldn't, so... Um, okay, let's go ahead and clear that up and take our torch off. Oh. I can't clear it up unless I can somehow get to... Let's see, I need planks. I've got those. That's not activated. Boy, some most of those traps don't seem to be working. At least it doesn't feel like they are. What do I need? A match. Yeah, I guess where all my matches are. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's just funny. That's bad luck, actually, is what that is. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can step on the other two walls. We're at it. Let me go ahead and heal myself up before I waste any more. Oh, man, that's funny. Before I step on one and die to my own stupidity. All right, I think we can get to our matches. We just got to get to the wardrobe somehow without getting poisoned. I can't get to the wardrobe. That's just ridiculous. <sighs> you ever just have one of those days where you just... Nothing goes right. That's one of the days we're having right now. I don't even know if I want to leave the base because I'm having such a bad day. All right, let's go in real quick and grab what I need to grab. It's poisoning me a little bit, but oh, I don't want to talk to the trader, though. All right, we got to grab a match. Oh, wait, we can get right over here. It's safe. There. Okay, perfect. Well, I I'm messing up because I'm trying so hard to, like, get over here so I can get a freaking match. So I can clear all this crap up that got out of control. Oh, boy. All right. Let's do this. I don't have a waste of resources to go through and do this. Next time the bugs come, I'm going to need to clear this up better. Or make sure I get all of them. Yeah, torch went out. And there's still a bunch of them there. What do I need more of? Rags. I got plenty of those. Well, at least we're using up those all these resources we have. Better than not. But if I didn't have to use it on such stupid stuff. Or what I feel like is kind of stupid. To... There. We'll have to deal with that tomorrow in a better way. But we'll drop that and we'll make sure we pick it up at nighttime because we're probably going to need it. And then we picked up a bunch of this stuff, which was good. We have more alcohol, which is good. I stepped on every bear trap at my house, practically. There's still a bunch out, but I'm pretty upset that I hit so many. These wood stabs, yeah, they're not that great, but we've got them, so we're going to use them. Better than wasting my nail board if I can help it. Can't repair it because I don't have enough nails, so we'll have to hit the lumber yard on our way over to that one house. And we've got to grab a bunch of that other stuff, too. So we've got it. But that's all right. What am I doing? Here we go. There we go. Put the extra staff in here. Put the boards in here. We need more nails. Yep. Okay, we're halfway decently organized. I'm not too worried about everything else. I can make another bear trap if I want to throw it down just to have. All right, what about you? How much... All right, so we're going to have to start figuring out what we want to trade for, what we want to build up to, but I don't think we're going to worry about it just yet. But um, I think the next day after this one, we're going to start trading for some weapon parts or something to build a gun. Um, we could even get an axe or a shovel going, or a shovel, actually, but I don't know. We'll have to think about it. We do have the shell, so if we got enough rags, we could build some armor, right? 
Actually, I can. I just need to upgrade my workshop one more time. All right. So we'll figure all that out next time. However, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.